I've been sent uh, a question by a uh, YouTube user BarnabyBear91, whose channel you should check out. Here's a link to her channel. Uh, she says, I'm a classically trained trumpet and trombone player and I've been playing for about 14 years. I've only ever played classical and orchestral music. I've recently started to play boogie and blues on the piano. Cool. I'm currently practicing playing fast boogie in G, improvising with the G blues scale. But I struggle to incorporate chords while improvising. It would be good if you could make a video on how we could improve on that. Okay, no problem. Um, so the fundamental question is there, and, and it's a fairly fairly common problem. Um, you're improvising 12 by This is a common problem across jazz, blues, all kind of improvisational genres. Um, sitting there and playing the chords is fairly easy. So if you're accompanying yourself singing or something, that, that sort of classic boogie style is pretty easy. Um, and if you practice it a little bit, then improvising on a blue scale is also fairly easy because of the various techniques for doing it. If, if you're not sure how to get started, check out some of my earlier videos. But it's only a single note at a time. Okay. So... The problem we've got here is how do you go from um, those two extremes and kind of meet in the middle to a point where you're improvising a sort of melodic structure in your right hand on that blues scale or, or whatever scale you're improvising in and also building in chords to thicken it up and make it richer and more interesting. Okay, let me play through, and I'm not going to play it at full boogie speed, I'm going to play it more sort of blues speed quite slowly, let me play you through a couple of times. Um, a 12 bar in G, using the kind of right hand that's combining chords and blue scale improvisation. Look at what I'm doing, okay, I'll take it quite slowly. Quite simple and straightforward, really. It might not look it. The starting point I come from is the single note improvisation on the blues scale. Okay. As you do that, every now and then, you'll come across an opportunity to put in an extra note. Okay. And usually the, the so-called chords you're playing in your right hand there are often just two notes. So instead of going for something like... Okay, you've just got an opportunity to drop in any thumb there and put in the G. So the top note of that rub might be a D, but you can drop the G in. Okay, and then other bits of chords suggest themselves. Yeah? One of the things you'll notice is that I wasn't playing loads of really complex chords as part of that improvisation. If I were comping, if I were accompanying myself singing or accompanying an instrument, you'd hear thicker chords there. But if I'm... If I'm putting in a sort of melodic line, I'm avoiding the really sort of thick three, four note chords. Yeah, they're in there occasionally, but, but not too often. So it's a case of being kind of opportunistic. And when you land in a place where your hand's naturally going to drop onto a chord, drop onto it. Okay? The other way in which, well, there were two other ways in which I, were working, I was working in chords. Um, the first one was quite simple. I play a melodic section. And then for something to do afterwards, just do a couple of chord stabs. Okay, 
So there we're not kind of mixing in the chords with the melody. In fact, what we're doing is kind of alternating them. Okay, it's almost a little bit like a big band's playing, so as a soloist, um, you know, playing the sax or something, and the rest of the band's behind him filling in stabs of chords. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way to do it is, is to play riffs or, or licks, um, which are little, um, I've, I've made loads of videos on them in the past, so check out my, my YouTube um, playlists and, and, and previous videos. Um, but a, a, a lick or a riff is a, is a pre-made sort of pattern. Okay, so the answer to your, to your question um, is keep practicing, uh, keep doing it. You, you will find that it start, you know, that those chords, especially the two notes ones, begin to creep in by themselves. It's interesting that you say you're a trumpet and trombone player because um, there's a very interesting difference between playing something like a brass instrument and improvising on the piano. Okay, if you're improvising on a brass instrument. Um, it's much. I, I play the trumpet myself really badly, but it, it, it's much more a kind of extension of yourself. It's kind of closer to singing. Um, so although um, it, it's kind of there's more physical effort going on. You're more physically involved with the instrument than you are when you're playing with a piano because you've got to blow into it and stuff. Um, you, you you kind of have a more kind of symbiotic relationship with the instrument. So you improvise in a different way and you can improvise in a much more kind of um, spontaneous way. On the piano it's more mechanical in that a lot of the time you're, because you can play so many notes at once, you're relying on pre-made patterns, you're relying on the memory that's in your fingers. Okay, so a lot of the time when I'm doing this, my conscious brain isn't really thinking about it. If it did, it would just all fall to pieces. Yeah, it, it's kind of techniques and patterns that I've built up through practice and which are kind of subconscious and when I need to improvise they, ooh, they suddenly pop out. So keep practicing the boogie woogie, maybe slow it down a little bit, maybe go into blues, keep practicing both playing chords with it and improvisations on the blues scale and every now and then just try and drop in you know two or three note chords and, and, and see how it goes. Apart from that you know, it's pretty straightforward, it's just really a question of practice and getting used to the fact that it's kind of different from improvising on on a wind instrument, just in, in terms of the way you approach it mentally. Okay, I hope that's answered your question, and indeed the question of anyone else who's looking at this video wondering the same thing. Any more questions, shoot me an email, put them in the comment thread, whatever. I hope that's useful.